So if you're anything like me and you don't have a Valentine, it's okay. Sometimes you got to protect your heart. You know what else you got to protect against? Untrusted user code. Let's talk about V8 isolates. We're trying something a little different today. This is not a fly.io video. This is a this is a Annie wants to make a video video. Let's start with that first term, V8. You may have heard of it, all right? This is a, an engine that was written by Google a long time ago, or sort of a long time ago, to make JavaScript go really fast. Previously, JavaScript was a totally interpreted language. It was very slow. Some people might still argue it's kind of slow, but having a just-in-time compiler made things way, way better. So that's V8. It's used in all major browsers. I don't, I think most browsers <laughs> use it. And it's also used in Node. Now, a V8 isolate is just an instance of the V8 engine. The isolates get their own heat memory, garbage collector, and JavaScript context, okay? And this is why people will say it's a great way of running untrusted user code. I'll come back to that. It's also very fast to start up. And this is why we see companies like Cloudflare employing it for their serverless architecture. We're gonna touch a lot on Cloudflare in a second because they they mitigate a lot of the security concerns. So let's talk about those. If you heard heat memory, garbage collector, JavaScript context, and were like, that's not enough to protect you from untrusted user code, what are you talking about? You'd be correct because uh, they can still access all the same isolates in the same process, can still access the same file system. There's no restricted access to the network, all right? It's, it's not, they can still spawn processes, they can execute shell commands. It's not secure on its own. And any of you InfoSec people out there, feel free to let me know down in the comment section all the other things that I'm, that I'm leaving out. If you really want to protect yourself against user code, what you gotta do is put all of the code in their own physical machines and then you'll be fine, but that's not realistic. So how does Cloudflare handle that when you're talking about Cloudflare workers? For context, Cloudflare workers are just V8 isolates, right? That's how they work. This is different than AWS Lambda, both, you know, the big contenders of the serverless architecture world. Lambda spins up little tiny, little baby virtual machines. And they're very, very fast. Cloudflare workers, on the other hand, use V8 isolates. Now, how the hell do they make that secure? Well, first of all, how do they use V8 isolates? Well, they have physical machines all over the world. And those machines run a bunch of processes. And each of those processes runs a bunch of different V8 isolates. Okay, now why do they do it this way? Honestly, because it's cheap and fast as hell. Now, how do they address those security concerns that we brought up earlier? Well, in their documentation, they outline sort of two layers of isolation that they provide. The first layer has to do with the runtime and the V8 isolates themselves, right? We can't just discount the fact that isolates themselves do provide some decent amount of isolation in that they don't share memory, they have their own garbage collector, blah, 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 blah. But Cloudflare provides its own custom JavaScript runtime. It doesn't use Node. In fact, it's way more similar to the runtimes used in the browser. So for example, uh, there's no file system access, all right? There's no network socket access. You can't spawn new processes or, you know, execute shell commands, nor can you use uh, just like arbitrary C++ native modules. The second layer of isolation that they provide is through Linux namespacing and seccomp. And this is actually what containers use. And they have a couple of interesting things to say about this. They actually claim that their use of namespacing and seccomp is actually stricter than what you would find in a container because, where did it say that? Cloudflare's use of these technologies is much stricter than what is usually possible in container engines because Cloudflare configures namespaces and seccomp after the process has started, but before any isolates have been loaded. This means, for example, Cloudflare can and does use a totally empty file system and uses seccomp to block absolutely all file system related calls. So those are the two layers of isolation that Cloudflare supplements V8 isolates with to make them a little more safe. And in their security model documentation, they also go into like, how do they deal with V8 bugs and dealing with Spectre attacks and all sorts of stuff. I am really curious what y'all think about uh, Cloudflare security model. This is not a pro Cloudflare or anti Cloudflare video. I, I don't, I'm, I don't know enough to have a strong enough opinion. Anyways. That's V8 isolates. Um, happy Valentine's Day.